So reseller community, I got to tell you that my addiction is real. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Biscuit Butt. If you're new to the channel, my name is Archie, and I am a full-time reseller. I sell mainly on eBay, and I also sell on some of the local platforms, such as Facebook Marketplace, OfferUp, and the Nextdoor app. I also mainly source from those three platforms, but I'll talk about it here just shortly. But I had a friend in town over the weekend, and we actually went to the Goodwill Bins. Uh, we went to Savers. I had a blast there, and wait till you see what I picked up there. And we also hit a couple garage sales. But my goal when I go outsourcing is to always buy as low as possible so that I can sell as high as possible to make a profit. And those of you that have been with me since the beginning of my channel, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Why does it look like this? Why does it look like this? Why? What I do know is, I know, I haven't put out a video in a few weeks, but hopefully today will be a doozy, and I'm going to show you guys uh, <laughs> kind of my addiction, and I'm also going to tell you about some of the things that I found over the last few weeks, what has sold, and Stay tuned because I think you are really going to enjoy this episode. Now, I know a few of you have reached out to me, especially you, Dakota, Dakota Flips. Check her out. She's awesome. She's got some great content. But uh, just asking me, so where's your motivation? We want to see how your progress is. And I don't know, you may be a little bit disappointed. I don't know. But I'm not disappointed because what I'm about to show you is just money. Some of the things that I found, and we'll go over them, I'm just so happy with. And yeah, looks a little disorganized in here, but you know, I just picked up a bunch of vintage t-shirts. Yeah, I know, they're still here. I'll get rid of them someday. But you're just going to see, you might have seen the short that I put out with all the spooky town stuff. But if you see just some of the stuff that I'm dealing with right now, you can see where my addiction's coming through. And to me, I equate it to, I mean, having any other addiction. I mean, I just love to buy. I buy, buy, buy. Eventually, I get it listed. I should love money, receiving money, 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 more than buying 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 but a lot of this you're going to see too that i got free and when you hear uh, not only did i get some of it free but i also what i paid for some of this you are going to flip like i'm going to flip all these for money but yeah you know it's creeping up there to uh almost be on the verge of being disorganized but it's nothing like it was in the video i put out over a month ago I would rather be in this position where I have items that I'm just a static to list because I know they're going to sell relatively quickly. And I just, I had a blast just finding this stuff. So, but let's talk about some things that sold the last few weeks. Go figure. I sold a couple laser discs and these two sold this first one here, this broadcast news sold for two twenty four, and the one behind it, it sold for $2. I took an offer. And then I picked up this Facebook portal from a garage sale. I believe I only paid like two, three, maybe four bucks for it, but it is completely reset, works perfect, and I sold it for $24.99. I sold these two sealed DVDs. They're of a couple magicians. One's named Finn John, the other's Losander. But I lot these together for $11.99 free shipping. I make about $2 profit per video, but I have about 200 of each. And I got these out of a storage unit a few years ago. And this textbook is brand new, sealed, just in time for college to start. But I picked this up at a garage sale for $1 and it sold for 20 plus shipping. So about a week and a half, two weeks ago, I picked up this entire box full of VHS. Now, I know a lot of you are going to say, Biscuit Butt, you just told us about 600 VHS that you picked up. Why are you getting more? Well, let me explain. 
So I was cruising around on the Freebie Alerts app, which right here, check it out, guys. Download this app. You definitely want to check this out as often as possible. But there was somebody that posted a box of just these free VHS tapes. They had one picture. And from that one picture, I was able to blow it up and just look at a few of the VHS that was on top. And some of them were these rock concert ones, this Oingo and Boingo, which when I looked it up was going for about 20 plus. Uh, I know they still have the plastic on it, but they're not sealed. Uh, the Nine Inch Nails was on there. I think that's about 15 bucks. And there were a couple other VHS tapes on top that were going for some decent money that, in my opinion, it was worth going and picking up because who knows what was in the rest of the box. And oh my gosh, when you guys see what I found, you're going to jump for joy for me. So there's a lot of like obscure titles. Right here alone are a few of the titles that are worth 30 plus. Take a look. You know, I also want to talk about the elephant in the room. I know. You guys see the hat that I'm wearing. So this is a fellow reseller. His name's Commonwealth Picker. Uh, Kevin, most of you know him by. He needs a little help, guys. So... He only has about 100,000 subs. So maybe if we could just show him some love and I can send him some of my subs. Guys, go over there and just tell him that I sent you. Help him out, thanks. Now, I just wanna tell you a little bit about what I found in this box with some of the more expensive VHS tapes that I found. And as you can see right here, I found this movie called The Tourist Trap. Never heard of it before, but horror sells tremendously and I listed this and within 24 hours as you see it sold for a hundred and sixty dollars and then as you can see I sold these other VHS tapes one of them was for sixty six dollars and the other one was for ten but when it's all said and done I got about 75 VHS tapes out of this deal and I should easily make six to seven hundred dollars off free what's going on guys i am here with my buddy mike hey guys dc flipper right uh dixie flipper dixie flipper <laughs> i live there too and i should have known dixie no i said dc huh you did where the heck did that right. even come from i'm not even thinking about <laughs> dc but dixie flipper any yep. any uh videos out or um have you... not not lately but i've been thinking about starting back up so Cool. Maybe. <laughs> cool. But you need some subs, so. Definitely. All four of mine go sub for him. And, <laughs> That'd uh, be awesome. We are actually here at the Goodwill Bins. So we have our boxing gloves on, and we're ready to go in there and fight for some deals. That's right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, man. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> so as you can see, my buddy Mike... The Dixie Flipper was in town. He lives in St. George, Utah, which is about an hour and a half away from Vegas. And he came down because he wanted to do the Goodwill bins for a day. And actually, I'm going to show you first what I picked up at the bin store. I saw this little Hello Kitty bag. And yeah, it's a little beat up, but I was still intrigued because one thing I do is I still like to actually just open these up and see what's inside and ho, 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 there was a Game Boy Advanced. I know not a big game, but, and then there was this little branded Nintendo DS little cartridge holder and there was four games in there. So I don't know if you can see the games. I mean, nothing too big. These are probably like $6 games, but lotting them up together will still make me pretty good profit because it's only $1.89 per pound and this was less than a pound. So I maybe paid a buck for all this. And my goal was again, a little beat up, but I was just going to go ahead and lot all this up together. I figure, you know, somebody would probably want all this together and I was gonna put a price tag of $29.99 uh, plus shipping on it but then we went to a garage sale and I was actually able to 
pick up this Nintendo DS. <laughs> it, it couldn't have happened more conveniently, but now, oh, and by the way, I picked this up for five bucks. Now I can put all this together and I'm gonna put a $100 price tag on it plus shipping. And you guys just saw those items that I picked up at Savers and what an incredible profit margin I made on that. I mean, to have a buy cost of right around 10 bucks and to make over 300, I still have a few of those items left that I wanna show you real quick. I still have another 100 of those roulette chips and I have this at about 100 bucks. I anticipate this will be gone very shortly. I picked up this entire box of about 30 pairs of dice and I have these listed at $12.99 plus shipping each. A majority of these are from Hooters Casino, which is no longer there. It is now the Oyo, but these are retired and these were actually used on a craps table. So there are some sold comps with matching numbers. Unfortunately, I have no matching numbers on these. Matching numbers, they're going for about 35. So I figure I put a half, half about half that. But again, I only paid $2.99. Actually, I paid less because I got a 20% discount on all of it. So reseller community, I got to tell you that my addiction is real. I love to buy, buy, buy. But it's not necessarily a bad thing either because you can never buy enough. When the deals are right, you got to take advantage of them. But you have to have that balance of buying and getting it listed so that you can turn that money around and buy other things that are gonna be profitable. That's how you run a business. So my biggest obstacle is just making sure that I stay focused, I stay motivated, and I get this stuff listed. Ideally, you would want to list these things the same day you get them, but that just ain't gonna happen with me. I'm at the point though that I am getting things that I enjoy to list, so it is making it a much pleasurable experience. But like I've said in my other videos, my main motivation is just making sure that I have a clean, organized area. And I have that. And now I have items that I'm just enthused to get listed. So keep watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And let's keep grinding and make that money.